Hey guys, I know I haven't posted in a little bit, and I'm sorry for that. I haven't posted VR videos in a little bit. I've been planning a lot of stuff with uh, SQ, and I will bring you a little mod showcase. Or, not little, it's just a mod showcase. And this is about mods that you need if you want to have even more fun in Fusion. I don't think you need these, it's just going to make your day a lot much more funner. The first mod we'll be taking a look at is MW2 Stim by Buggo, Bug, Draxis, and StayX. So if you go into your spawn gun, and if you look in here in Authors, you should find Buggo, Buggy, or Buggoing, and StayX, and you should find the Steam One Spawner. Poison stimulant and regular stealing stimulant. So <clears throat> this regular stimulant, it's kind of weird. I'm not sure what it does, but it's kind of fun just to uh, either walk up to somebody or yourself and just do this. Oh yeah. But the poison stimulant, on the other hand, will just cheer just hey look there. forward. It, it will kill you. It's simple, but yet effective. And also the spawner, you just click the menu button, you get three stims. And you can make anything a pin cushion, like this poor protogen here. It doesn't kill him, it doesn't do any damage. It just looks funny. Also, whenever you use the spawner, it won't spawn anymore. You're just gonna throw that wherever you want. Now the poison is where the most fun is at. If we kind of just loop you up, you just, just stab it anywhere. I like Grace kind of going slow and stabbing it right in the arm. But you can also use it on yourself. <laughs> Since I'm alone, I won't die. But uh, if you're with somebody else, you will. Now, if you walk to a Tadium. Stab it right in his neck. Oh. Yeah, buddy. I don't know what's in here that makes it very effective like that. But this poor guy looks like a pin cushion. Also, there's a bit of a glitch. You should find it out yourself. But so whenever you delete a poison simulator, it's only on I think it's on I think every single one of them. But you can't delete the the green ones, but whenever you delete a poison sim. It's gonna come back as like used. You have to spawn that back and then blah blah until you get a new one. But it should shouldn't be that big of a deal. As long as you're having fun. Alright, sorry about this, buddy. Yeah, yeah, you can't delete these. Hopefully he fixes or they fix that in the future since it's like a tag team mod, but there you go, you all good. Our next mod is the MW2 Molotov by Bug Bugo Bug and Draxis. So if you just scroll down to Bug, Bugo Bug, you'll find the spawner. Which we're just gonna use the spawner, but you can also spawn the regular thing. So let's get somebody out here. Hostile Ford. Let's get one out here. So if you just grab the spawner, click on it, it should spawn a Molotov cocktail. It's going to look different on PC. If you are looking for PC mods and you're watching this video, it's going to actually be on fire, I'm pretty sure. And if you just throw it down. Oh. Whoops. Hopefully you saw that. Let me just... Pretty effective at killing people. There's a Molotov cocktail. Just look at the detailing on this thing. Hell, hell. Should I throw it for you? Get in there. Nah, I'm already cooking. Oh my god, I'm already cooking. I don't want to be Thanksgiving dinner. Oh my god. 
He's a little extra crispy around the edges, but he should be useful. Also, be careful not to. Oh my! It destroys destructible objects too. So if like if your friend built a house out of wood, I don't know why he would do that, but you can just throw him all the time and just make him really mad. Burn him alive. It's pretty accurate though. Regular like Molotov is tried again. Or you can just walk this way and just smash it on their back. It will probably kill you in the process if you don't have a good avatar with a lot of versatility that health. Uh, let's move on to the next mod. This was fun. It's very fiery. <laughs> Alright. The next mod will be in the same category, but is the stem, the stem text by Buggo Bug and Draxus because they, they, they're pretty good. So if you go in here into the stem text spawn, you also can get the, like I said, the regular stem text. This one, it's scary, bro. It's really scary. So if you don't throw it at the right time, it's kind of like real life, you may get it stuck. I'm not sure if stem texts are real in real life, but they probably are. Okay, no, 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 no. He, he blew up the table. That was not a good idea. Oh my god, bro. Dummy. Stupid garden. Ah! Ah! Let me just... Alright, we are back. And I got a bunch of props set up for this time. So, which... I'll show you a little interaction. So you don't want to do this, and then oh, uh, yeah, where? Oh my goodness, that is powerful. You don't really want to do this and like grab it and then just hold it for. It jumped onto me. That was intentional, but sometimes it will happen unintentionally and uh you may just go kaboom <laughs> but uh yeah very fun mod <clears throat> let's move on to the next one next we have the claymore by let me see buggo bug and drax yeah this time we're gonna test out this poor protege you know ah uh, uh, that happened. Oh shoot! Technical difficulties. Okay. And now we're just slightly planted over here. Just give this poor protege a good walloping. Oh shoot! Yeah, I know it. Now he or she. They're com they're common proteins. Okay. Now, if you would kindly just. Go over there and come over here. Yes, good monkey. No, bad monkey. Good monkey. Oh. Okay, monkey. <laughs> it, it it works. Okay, it's very funny. I haven't tested it on uh, SQ yet, but he should have a good little thing coming up. Also, try not to get it stuck on your hand, like as you saw, or is that like a death sentence? It just won't come off. Like this. You see, you just can just shake it as much as you can. It just won't come off. But now, you're just a dangerous super weapon. You just kind of give somebody a good smack in it. And they just explode like that. The next mod is... The MW2 Proximity Mine by well, Buggo, Bug, and Drex. You come up here, the bug oh bug, and you should find the proximity mine and proximity mine spawner. Let's we'll take a good look at this proximity mine. We'll get a few of these. They're much more easier to use than uh, most of these. So I would recommend this for beginner throwers, which I'm kind of am. It's just on the end now. So, first, gotta get them angry. Okay, that boy's angry. Okay, he. Oh. Ah! Nope. 
he he fell. Well, he's a dummy. Actually, he maybe figures. It's a very powerful freaking mine. I think it just blew away the rest of the mines. I think. Um. I think. Yeah, the <laughs> the own freaking mod is ruining my mod showcase. Okay, whatever. Well, we'll just spawn in some more real quickie. Some proxy mine spawner. Pretty sure you could put this on your. Oh, I can't do it that way. But yep, kind of just. Throw it like in Modern Warfare 2 and just see them get exploded. Now, if they get stuck to something, it's gonna take a lot of force to rip them apart, but it is possible. I think it only works on uh, things that are pretty close to it. Even dead NPCs. Oh! Ah! Ah, yeah. I like how the mod kind of just ends itself. Well, for the three last mods, one is a map, the other one are weapons, so let's go check it out. Let me just reset the map. It's the one, the only, 7-Eleven by Baba Corp. So, it, by itself, it's a wonderful map to play on Fusion. Of course, if you're playing on Quest, you're going to have some issues with it, but... Eh, as long as you're not making a video, you should be fine. So let me just hit Max Road real quick, and I want to show you a little glitch I found watching this video. Or video. So it's not my idea, of course. So don't, don't, don't say you got it from me. Okay, stay. You just found it. But. It's a really, really good way of doing it. So we all know the bit mine that Baba Corp added for just for fusion. There's also a regular bit miner in fusion called Bit Miner, of course. And it says hires a team of hardworking nobodies to mine valuable valu valuables from the depths of Mythwest. Grants one bit, not three, because I upgraded it per minute. When you are in a fusion lobby with another p person. Also, you can just upgrade to keep on upgrading, but the best way is if you grab a pickaxe here, grab a good strainer, and I recommend either holding your hand still on something or going to slow motion. So, like, I have my hand on my bed right now. And. Alright, I got it there. It didn't take that long, as you know. And I'll show you all the areas you can do this. You can do it here, which I don't recommend doing here first. But the easiest one is up there, there, there. And if you get the tall over there, you can get up there. And here too. So let me just cut it all this out, and I'll show you all of them working. Alright, so, okay, okay, okay. Let me just close myself, because hopefully none of them will like glitch out and just stop out of nowhere. So it took me around 10, 9 minutes to do all this, but in that span of time, I earned 300 bits while I was just doing it. So you'll earn around 1 bit per s or every s almost a second, which is a decent amount, like basically. But if you really. You want to automate it, you need to download it, the Rothmer. Now, there's a special glitch where if you 
go to the bit generator. Right, if you grab it enough time, really quickly, you will earn that amount of bits you grabbed it. But it's really, really precise, and you need to do it quickly. And I don't really want to do it manually, so that's why I just get a bunch of freaking glitched auto miners. So, yeah. And in that span of time, I earned myself 500 bucks. Or bit. So, let's buy ourselves a hat. Just, you pimp. Ooh, pimp. Hat, hat the big cheese. Ooh. The big cheese. Mm. Get a green hat. You get a lot of these with this technique, but you can also just play fusion. But if it's too laggy, I just recommend this one. Also, I recommend don't have anyone in the lobby, or else they may try to like punch you out of the way and all that, just mess you up. But if you know how to do it, then uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and hopefully this little tutorial was helpful. It wasn't made by me. I'll link. It. The actual guy who I found it out from in the description. So big shout out to him. So I can shout out uh, so I can show it to you guys. So go conquer VR. Go mind the bit. And hopefully I see you in the next video. Have a great day. Duck this one!